Nia nia everyone, this is Thermite, this is Volume 9 of Battle Angel Alita, and this is specifically the uh, Another Fight chapters at the very ends. I have spent a full hour recording videos saying, yes, I will do it, no, I won't do it, yes, I will do it, no, I won't do it. In the end, I left it to a friend who I know who has, I know he's read the original series, I think he's been reading Last Order as well, I hope so, otherwise his advice was very misinformed. Anyways. My main problem was that I, I looked it up and I realized that, okay, so the mangaka did not want this to be canonical. Specifically, the mangaka was fr like rushed into making these final few chapters. And I don't feel good about reading something like that. If anything, I would like to read Last Order. Like, the themes of Alita are the ser like those are what I love the most about the series. I love the themes. And even if the canonical stuff is, is different, like even if, you know, the explanations of everything are all different, if the themes are similar, if these are like half-baked versions of the completely constructed themes we're going to see in Last Order, I'd rather not read it. I'd rather read Last Order just on its own terms without being able to compare it to something else. But from what I was told, uh, these chapters are completely divergent in every single way. And in that case, I'm okay with it. Even if he wasn't happy with them, if he came up with something else later on that he was happy with, then I'm okay with reading this. So without further ado, we're going forward. Conquest of Zalem 1, okay. I'm also really interested to see how like he's going to wrap up the series in three chapters from here. Like this was a really good cliffhanger, but if this was supposed to be the end of the series, then huh, I can I believe he can do it, but still. Hmm. So is this like a near death experience? Whoa, okay, so this is the shaft above Zalem, right? I think. Unless this is just somewhere else entirely. Because it doesn't look like the shaft. It's not like shaft shaped. It looks more like a ship. And then these are clearly other ship firing upon it. Oh, so is this one of the mass production elites? Oh, no. Okay, so this is a flashback. Okay, so while she's dying, she's seeing this like flashback. Okay. Oh, also, also, uh, before I go forward again, I wanted to mention something. So I noticed, I don't know what this could possibly have been in the original, or if this is something the English version itself did. But I noticed, like, I was aware that Galley was the original name of Alita in, you know, in Japanese, and they changed it to Alita for the English release. What I didn't realize in this version, like in the uh, dream sequence, is that her, like, you know, the version where she becomes, you know, Dr. Ito's doll, basically, she call she lets herself be called Galley. And the cat, which was dead in the original, the one that was, you know, that one was named Alita. And yeah, like we, we saw at the start of the series that that cat was named Alita. That's why, like, that's why Dr. Ito named her Alita. And it was the whole joke of like, oh, it was a male cat. Why did you name a female after a male cat? I, I didn't realize, like, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but that's so interesting that they used the Japanese name for her when she was in that, like, when she was in that dream sequence. But they still called the cat Alita to show that, yeah, like, this is what she was supposed to be named after. So, in the English release, at the very least, the name Galley comes from something else. I don't know. I, I think there might be something there with the fact that she was more of a girl and, like, you know, Galley sounds more feminine, I guess? I don't know. Or, like, it sounds like the word gal? I, I just wanted to mention that as we're going forward with this final volume. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're at war. At the end of the orbital tower... Okay... Hmm... So this can't be connected to Zalem, though, because as far as we know, like we don't, we never see this ring around the Earth. So it can't be that this is like Zalem. That's my immediately thought, but that can't be right. Hmm. Why can't we plasticize the brains of the wounded to keep them alive? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Also, this is a war between Mars and Earth, which is cool. Oh man. Oh, man, she was pretty cold-hearted at the time. Oh, kids, they were evacuating, I'm sure, but we blew them up. Oh, man. Now they're making good on your incredible promise. Okay, that's quite a hook. Oh, shit, okay. Okay, and then this would explain, like, because of this coding, she was able to get to Earth. Like, somewhat safely, but she ended up in the scrap heap, and then, okay, 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 I see. I mean, how she survived is simple enough. Like, she had... Uh, Dusty Nova has those nanomachines that can fix anything, so should be fine. 
Conquest of Zelem 2. Whoa, that's such a cool design. Like my god, it must have taken forever to make this. Like even if it even if these are all like um like pre-made designs, like laying them out like this in in a way that looks that good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's like a patchwork quilt. But like oh man, that's really interesting. Like I guess you can kind of symbolize this as like these are all the bits of her life that have made who she is. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I managed to smuggle your brain structure into Zlem by claiming it was a specimen. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, never mind. It's been ten years. I forgot. Psychological counseling. I'm sure they're just they're just like taking her brain out, like her you know, her brain chip out and just like reprogramming it. This is what we call the Enjoy. It's essentially a public suicide booth. <laughs> Immediately walks in. <laughs> so this is what Zolem's guts look like. God damn. Also, what a way to show off her new like her new body's capabilities. She tore up like Everything, like all the innards of it, just the ground itself shattered. Gosh, that looks so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> it is one of our most culturally enlightened devices. Which, again, like, now that we know that they are chips, it would make a lot of sense that they would be okay with it. Partially because, like, oh, well, most people won't choose it. But also, like, you know, yeah, people go inside every now and then, but no one comes out. The fact that the entire population isn't gone means that they probably just take the chips out and then like reprogram them, right? Oh man. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah. They just they threw her out. Okay, that's what I expected the first time. Like I was thinking they could have re reprogrammed her, but it makes more sense that they would just like dump her out into the uh like into the trash heap. Oh whoa. Oh my gosh. Take her to the ladder, please. Oh wow. It's okay, Lou. Keep it together. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a fantastic gag. He was scared into like you know throwing himself out into the abyss. Lou was just scared enough to cure her hiccups. Also, I really do like. I didn't. I didn't notice this before. No, last time he did cut off his head, right? Whereas this time he just has like a mechanism, so he can do it easily if he wants to. Wait, what? Oh right. Okay, yeah, this feels very rushed. Like she has a body that's stronger than the Berserker army body. We just learned about, you know, it, near the end, we learned about the uh, the initiation, but now it's like, OK, so I guess we're going to go and save them. This is true. This is this is the ultimate like test of his, um, you know, of his karma based system, though. But yeah, her actions will determine the fate of the world. This is the pinnacle of the mountain. and It was left here for you. Oh, man. Everyone has a set of wings that no one else can see. And if I could wish for one thing, just one thing in the world, it would be for everyone to be capable of flying with those wings. Like, yeah, like as much as I'm, I've been talking about how, oh, this isn't, you know, this isn't great because it's being ended early. This is a fantastic way to end it early. Like it feels rushed, but at the same time, it feels true to Alita so far. It's like, guys, but I am moving. What in the world? That was the famed sound barrier. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. This is like, this is her body moving faster than the speed of sound. But just because of the way it works, like. Wait a minute, is she moving faster than the speed of light? Like, if it was sound, it, it, I wouldn't understand, like, why is it that she can't see? But if it's supposed to be faster than the speed of light, that would explain why she can't see anymore, or why she can't breathe. 0 0.09 sex passed. Right. Okay, that's so cool. I can just use my plasma jets to break. Neato! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Like, yeah, she can, she's straight up overclocked now. That's so cool. What do individual and freedom mean? Right. Yeah, they've been programmed ever since the start. Like, the ceremony doesn't, like, change their brains. It just removes their brains and replaces them with chips. Like, they would still be like this, even without the, uh, the procedure. No convincing the lemmings. Even I'm worried. This is true. Like, yeah. This is terrifying to people who live in Zalem. This idea of, like, all the trash people, quote-unquote, all the surface dwellers coming up into their perfect little uh, area. Right, he did mention uh, Maledek before as like the uh, the supercomputer. May like unto the Son of God remains priest continually. Oh, that's really cool. Hmm, that's so interesting. Like, oh, he feels so mythical now. It's been quite a while since I've read the Bible, though. So, hmm, that's really cool. Like, it manifests itself as like an old lady knitting. Huh, that old woman stole my brain. Don't let her get away with it. Calm down, Lou. <laughs> 
like we got a note for that. Dr. Nova. Nova received his official doctorate after returning to Zalem. That's true. They, they never called him doctor before. Okay, so we're getting the truth. Oh, man, this feels... It's so weird if this is all, like, completely different in Last Order, though. This feels very well thought out. The Earth Port Science is on. Okay, so it is what I thought. So, yeah. Also, I really like that. Oh, my God. There's no way this was retconned. There's no fucking way that this concept, at the very least, is retconned. That's too clever. Yeah, this definitely does feel like uh, the manga is just being rushed into, like, revealing all his really cool ideas. Because that's that's perfect. That is so perfect. Jeru and Zalem. I never thought of it like that. Like the the series has mentioned a lot of like um a lot of like extra biblical stuff, like a lot of uh, Kabbalistic stuff. But I never thought about Zalem being you know Zalem, you know Jerusalem. Oh my God. Oh. And also, I really like this because it proves that you know that whole sci-fi idea that um oh what was his name. You know, Grifter Kid's brother, like his whole idea of, oh, my personal belief is that on the other side of, you know, the city, there's a big pole. And at the end of the pole, there's another city. And I was like, oh, that's a really silly sci-fi idea. I love it. It was right. It was completely right. Yeah. And this make, this is such a good justification for it, that they were two different ports of, you know, of the elevator. But then it was redeveloped. So now it's no longer the the space elevator. God damn it, Zaku, there's no way that they didn't reuse this concept for, um, for Last Order. There's no way. Right. This does make a lot of sense, though. We could be in a colony crew? Uh, yeah, it has been active in 200 years. Computer's persona is coming loose. Oh, man. Yeah, this definitely feels like a, um, <laughs> like a quick wrap-up, but I'm loving it. Like, I love all this lore that we're getting now. He's overcome with grief and shock that he'd suffered an entire month of mute mourning. Ah, uh, I can believe it. I can completely believe it. Now this little cradle is all I live for. Right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Some unforeseen factors called Meltzak to go insane. I mean, you you did this, didn't you? You got rid of what was you know, the things that were keeping her bound. Now she can do literally anything, so of course, she's going to collapse it. The orbital elevator is going to collapse, the scrapyard is going to be crushed underneath it, and this could destroy the planet. Like, not destroy the planet, but it could wipe out life on the surface for like quite a while, because this is a big-ass orbital, orbital uh, elevator. Like, just the potential energy of the entire thing falling down is intense. Also, that's so cool that we started off with, you know, the suicide booths, and now, uh, Melchizedek? Like, the supercomputer itself has committed suicide. Five minutes. Five minutes until my glory and my future and will lead us to tumultuous adventure and your insignificant lives are returned to dust with the catastrophic flattening of Jeru, Zalem, and Scrapyard. Yeah, what can she do, though? This is really cool, though. Yeah, it's the curse of Den. In the end, he's getting what he wanted in, a, in some strange way. Like, yeah, it's almost as if, you know, his rage against the heavens, you know, led to... As a limb itself falling the way he wanted it to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this feels so contrived, but it's still cool though. Yeah. Using the knocking bar, bolt and sticks into place. Again, we're going with the whole, like, you know, can we fuse, you know, won't these things fuse together thing? Like, ah, oh, like the, the foreshadowing these final three chapters is pretty great. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, so she's doing it. She is doing it. Oh, oh my god, figure. I shouldn't have spoken about the trigger agent. I hope you fail, Alita. Will the great fearless Nova end up being saved by the sacrifice of a girl he wanted as an experiment subject? Oh, my gosh. I really do like this, though. Like, again, I love characters who have an intense ego. Someone like this. I really do like it. Like, this is kind of an inversion of, um... You know, Alita's final moments in the uh, dream sequence. Or, I guess so. Or, like, in the dream sequence, like, she desperately wanted to just, you know, to give into it. And for a moment she did, and then, like, you know, she, you know, she accepted her way out of it afterwards. But, like, this specifically reminds me of the moments where she's, like, she kills Ito. And then after she kills Ito, she feels this horrible remorse. And she's like, no, one more time, one more time. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I want to stay with you. And that's what leads to her, you know, accepting the, um, you know, the sequence where she is, uh, 
Genma? Was that it? Damn it, I forgot the name already. But I, I really love this. I love that he did the right thing, and then right afterwards, he completely regretted it. In that moment, like now that he's you know entrusted her with that, he's like, no, you know what? No, no, I didn't want that. I didn't want it. I have made all of creation my enemy. I never once shied away from it. That was one moment of weakness. But he would rather be cast to hell now. Also, this is so apocalyptic. This is so good. Right. Oh my gosh. That's it. She's doing it, right? I'm certain that your final thoughts will never be recognized by those who lives you save. Oh, that's so cool. It's like, somehow she was able to transfigure the entire outside into something clearly organic. They will, see, they will only see the traces of your strength left behind. Oh, wow. Yeah, his brain snapped. He was able to survive the, you know, the insanity driving force of like, oh crap, you know, we are all like, we don't have brains anymore, but this is what tipped him over the edge. Ah, and that's it. This is what the, uh, the tulip at the start is supposed to re uh, represents. It's the fact that she, you know, she bound with it and she transfigured it and she turned it from something that was purely machine to, I think, a cyborg. Like, I don't think she transmuted the entire thing into something organic. Especially not with the bottom. Like we could see that was still clearly like mechanical, but she turned she turned Jeru and Zalem into a cyborg. That is beautiful. Yeah, and I don't know if this is the exact same design, but I guess I I guess it does tie into my thing from before. This idea of maybe the flower is a cyborg. I I guess this is it, right? Also, this is so cool. I love the idea they were able to uh to put into prints. Bestseller in the scrapyard. Man, oh, this is such a cool way of framing it. <laughs> he was finally able to build Kansas again. Kansas 4. <laughs> ah, Lou married Kaus, of all people. That's really cool. Oh, my gosh. And I like that even Vector got to be a hero. Huh. The completed Tower of Zalem. Oh, that's so cool. Now that it's been, like, transfigured. Yeah, and of course, because Zalem no longer exists like to oppose them, they could build the tower in peace. Oh, that's so cool. Ah. And she's even wearing the name of her dad's bar on her shirt after, you know, all that tumultuous hatred of her dad for a while. Oh, they even colonized uh, Jeru. This was once the home of some powerful Celts ladder apparently. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Huh. Oh, is this a uh, figure? He's still smashing uh, cyborgs. This is great. Oh, man. <laughs> of course, she's still a gambler, too. I'm so glad. Oh, Alita is not dead. She promised me that she'd return. And that means she's alive out there somewhere. End of story. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, wow. I guess this could also be the, uh, the tulip on the... um. Like on the chapter page. Oh, that's true. This is all Elita, technically. I cannot help but feel this might be the, ba the breakthrough I've always sought in my lifelong study of karma. Oh, wow. With a bit of nano tweaking, it should be possible to reconstruct her. Very, very slowly. Whoa, that's a very poetic ending. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, it was all German. That's pretty cool. Whoa. So yeah. So that is Battle Angel Alita. Let me make sure I didn't stop this. Okay, good. That was all of Battle Angel Alita. All right, so I still don't know how to feel because, oh my gosh, there is no way that elements of those did not make into Last Order. Zaku, you are a fucking liar. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But whoa. I will say, that was incredibly poetic. And I do like even that, like that idea that you know, the reason that there was a tulip growing out of uh, Dust, uh, Dusty Nova's head was because it was like a reflection of, you know, of Alita, of like the giant, giant tulip that she transfigured herself into that he was helping to restore. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, this was very, very deeply thematic. I, I thought it was really good. It really was. It was very rushed, to be fair. It definitely felt like it was something that the original manga didn't want to do, but it was still made with love and with so much effort put into it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I ended up re reading it. I'm, I'm still a little 
still a little lukewarm on whether I should have read this before or after Last Order, but for now, I'm going to just accept it as, you know, that was a thing. <laughs> that was definitely, like, an interesting, thought-out ending with a lot of themes that were clearly, like, built up to over the course of the series. So yeah, that was all of the volume. I I'm sorry if I got a little overly emotional there, but it was really good. It was fantastic. And I can see how like something like this might be a bit too evocative or like a bit too poetic for like the tone of the rest of the series. So I could see how Last Order is probably more grounded. But I, I don't have that much else to say. It just it was fantastic. It was truly fantastic. Well, that was all of Battle Angel Alita. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I hope to see you guys again as I go through Last Order. I don't. I don't remember which video I said it in, probably one of the deleted ones, but I will be reacting to Last Order using the, um, like the, um, the omnibuses because those are the easiest things I can get a hold of right now. I can get the digital versions pretty quickly, but I'm going to be breaking them up into the original Jap or like the original English release, uh, like volumes. So like the first one will be like volumes, like chapters one to four and I'll stop it. And then I'll use like the thumbnail for the original volume one for that. Anyways. I've digressed enough. Thank you guys so very much for coming along with me on this entire journey, including this extra ending. It's been absolutely amazing, and I wouldn't trade it for... Like, I'm so happy. I'm so very happy I was able to read Alita. Please talk to me about the series if you want. I'm on... Uh, like, just put it, put it in the comments, honestly. I'll, re I'll respond to basically any comments you send if it's about the series. Well, until last order, this is Thermite, and... I'm done. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah.